John chapter 14, beginning to read at verse 15. Jesus said, If you love me, you will obey what I command, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counsellor to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans, I will come to you. Before long the world will not see me any more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. On that day you will realise that I am in the Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. In this time of lockdown, many people will be feeling bereft. Some of them will be literally bereaved because they have lost someone they loved and cared for. But others will be feeling bereft because they cannot physically meet friends or family. Or maybe they are not able to meet friends at church, or at the pub, or at the football match, or at any one of a number of other clubs or associations. Of course they can telephone, they can Skype, they can Zoom, but they feel it's not quite the same. In this passage, Jesus is preparing his disciples for his literal passing. He is speaking the night before his crucifixion. He knows what is going to happen to him, though his disciples do not. He assures them, I will not leave you as orphans. He will give them another help. Some versions say comforter, others say advocate. The word literally means someone who is called alongside to help. But the emphasis is on the word another. This helper will be there to do exactly what Jesus did. Jesus is the first helper. And this helper will be with them all the time to do what Jesus did in their lives. This helper is the Holy Spirit. He is called the Spirit of Truth. But just a few verses earlier in John chapter 14, Jesus has referred to himself as the truth. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So the spirit of truth is the spirit of Jesus. He will be with them, and he's with us too, who are Jesus' modern day disciples, forever. The spirit continues to be with us, even in our lockdown and isolation, to give us strength and comfort, to help us keep going on, and to help us work and witness to Jesus, even under the current restrictions. And he will draw us into the closest of all possible relationships, the relationship Jesus has with the Father, so we can live in love 
with each other and with God forever. Lord Jesus, who has risen from the dead and returned to the Father, leave us not alone as orphans, but send your Holy Spirit to bind us to yourself, to the Father and to each other in the closest possible bonds of love. In your name we pray. Amen. Oh.